Hey guys, I just got a new toy here. Let's open it up. Uh oh, there's another one on the bench. There's nothing in here, just air. <laughs> but this is what I ordered. For those of you unfamiliar with the ESP32 and the ESP8266, this is pretty amazing stuff. There's so much power in here and you can run Arduino code or you can run uh, MicroPython and there's this thing called uh, UI flow that I'm not familiar with. But look how tiny this little thing is. And look at that. It's like there's built-in documentation. So I think it has like eight GPIO pins. It has an accelerometer or something and it has of course a screen. So let's fire it up. It's my first Arduino with a USB-C. Thankfully it comes with a cable, short as it may. So that plugs in right there. I think the other one is a groove connector, which I don't have any uh, groove devices. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's like this is pretty cool. And uh, let's see, oh, there's some buttons here too. There's a button here and a button there. I think this is like one of them is an LED, the other one is a uh, IR sensor. Or transmitter I'm, I don't remember <laughs> so let's hook it up see what we can do with it so I installed the board manager for this guy there's really good instructions I'll link it in the description and so I got it such that it's actually working now I'm not using any of the sensors or anything but they might un unplug it if this thing has a battery so it's actually independent and it's like I don't know where to put the battery in there probably not very big it's actually serving as a website and I can turn it on and off using Wi-Fi. So that's the server. This is the web client. This is just running a regular browser on my local network, connecting to that guy, the web server is running on this thing. And so you can turn it on and off. It's just amazing. And I, like I said, I haven't even played with any of these things. There is like a six axis IMU. There is a IR and <laughs> buttons. So yeah, it's completely self-contained. Pretty cool toy. <laughs> So I've had some more time to play with this thing and it's pretty cool. Uh, the library has all kinds of stuff. So I learned how to do the, to draw the, on the screen. The screen is only 80 by 160, but as you can see, it's pretty cool. And I learned how to read the accelerometer. So as I lift this up, it gets smaller. And as I tilt this way, it changes the number of nodes. And so, I think it's pretty cool. And then I also had uh, to change the color. You press this button and it just picks some random color. Can't really see it too well in the video, but that's like some sort of red and it just like changes color. Oh, by accident, I also learned that there's a temperature sensor in there. When you read the accelerometer and the gyroscope, it also report temperature for some reason. So yeah, had a lot of fun. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.